many new artists are too impulsive on their artwork and easily get discouraged as they start realizing that their drawing is out of proportions and has bad angles. If you are experiencing the same problem, well, this video will help you improve your perception and proportions, angles, and shapes that will eventually help you in coming up with impressive illusion of form in your artwork. So today it's going to be a very interesting topic because we will be dealing with shape. And as we all know, shape has two categories. These are geometric and organic shapes. So it's understood that geometric shapes deal with the mathematical shapes or these shapes that are used in mathematics which are basically man-made just like the square, the rectangle, circle, and triangle. So these shapes actually are, are man-made as what I've said. In other hand, there's also organic shape. So these organic shapes are actually natural and freeform shapes. So the patterns that are used are actually inspired from nature, just like the shape of the flower, for instance, or the shape of the leaves, or the shape of rock. So all of these talk about shapes. Now, how are these shapes? used or applied in basic drawing? So the answer is very simple. It is to resolve problems on proportions, especially for those uh, learners who are beginning artists. So this is basically solving our problems with regards to, you know, uh, irregular proportions. So that's kind of uh, really uh, disappointing for beginning artists to see results right after first, second, or third try. And uh, actually, that's, that's gross to have a regularly shaped uh, drawing or a regularly uh, or deformed drawing, even if your intention is to have a representational drawing of any realistic figures. Now, how are we going to do this? Very simple. First is to deal with geometric shape and secondly to deal with organic shape so these are the two simple steps on how to deal with shapes in terms of representational drawings so once again we're going to start with geometric shapes followed by organic shapes Now, to give you clearer understanding or idea of how, this, uh, how these two shapes work toward a successful drawing, uh, let me uh, show you some simple examples in this. So basically, as what I've said, we have to start with uh, geometric shapes. So the one that I am drawing here now are geometric shapes so that's basically step one so to proceed to step two is to connect we try to connect these uh, geometric shapes to proceed toward uh, working on the details or working on the the hatching or cross hatching for the value so from from these uh, way we would be able to to have a, a an overview of what the drawing will be uh, in general right after doing the the artwork you know so what I'm doing now is is that I tried to connect the geometric shapes to our developing an organic shape or something that has more details something that cares more about about the details of the drawing. So although uh, this is not really very specific to uh, organic shape, but still uh, this is a very uh, successful uh, way of you know understanding how it works when it comes to working with step one, which is on the geometric and step two 
which is you proceed to the organic okay so there are only two so to give you another example is on on drawing a, a bird for example so we have just as I would have said we have to start with number one or step one which is dealing with a the geometric shapes for example I have here an oval and a circle and uh, some triangles here so this would give us an idea that this is going to be the shapes or the, the, the overall shape or form of the bird that I intend to draw so I started with organizing the geometric shapes and number two this is the time that I have to connect or to uh, to reorganize the geometric shapes toward developing an organic shape. So here, I'll be connecting the head toward the body, which actually I, I, I prepared to be, you know, an oval at first, and eventually collect, connect the, the oval toward the, the triangles here, and toward the tail, which is, uh, of course, I started with, with a triangle, it's a an organic shape, uh, not a geometric shape. Then toward developing an organic shape. So, as what you see from the from the geometric shape, uh, it proceeds toward uh, developing more detailed and clearer picture of what you are trying to to illustrate or to draw so it is just a matter of organizing just like you know first isolating the the geometric shapes and eventually connect them and uh, create a more elaborate and more representational drawing about the subject so uh, that's really very easy so the main purpose of of organizing or isolating the geometric shapes first and eventually connect them toward or, or organic and working on the details using the 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 hatching and the cross hatching technique you can even uh, you can even add some stippling or uh, pointillism techniques in combination uh, with the, the hatching and the cross hatching so it's up to you so the overall idea of working with shapes uh, th through geometric and organic shapes is to resolve problems in terms of proportion especially for beginning artists
Developing skills in drawing, we need to devote time and effort practicing with a keen eye on seeing things around us. Of course, propelled by the passion to express creativity and love for beauty. Please apply the learning you acquired from this video to your artworks. Thank you so much, my dear students. Goodbye for now, and see you in the next episode.